We're in late April, which means this is the end of ranunculus season here in North Texas Zone 8A. I had been fascinated with the ranunculus in terms of how to grow them without soaking the corms. And you know, ranunculus are normally grown from corms, not from seed, because this is the best and fastest way to grow ranunculus. So last fall, we decided to try to grow ranunculus without soaking the corms and putting them straight into the ground. And here's what we did. We bought corms at Walmart last fall. I should have planted them in October, but we were a little busy, and so I planted them on November 4th. We took the corm straight from the bag and planted every single corm in the ground without soaking them first. Last fall, we did not have drip irrigation in this flower bed, so I watered them occasionally with a hose. I tried not to overwater them because I know that ranunculus corms might rot if they stay in real wet soil. And now we'll take you through the development of our ranunculus. Today is November 25th and our ranunculus have come up. They look beautiful, healthy, dark green. It's interesting that this area where I planted them gets a lot more water than the other area. The other area I didn't water. I watered them once right after I planted them. But then that area doesn't really get too much water. And in spite of that, they started growing on their own. So you don't have to water your ranunculus bulbs too much. Today is February. 25th and we want to give a quick update on our ranunculus. Back in January we had a really bad freeze where the temperature went down to 10 degrees Fahrenheit and stayed like that for a few days and the old leaves in ranunculus did die but then new growth appeared and now our ranunculus are looking really good. They're looking green and healthy and I keep watering them once in a while with some fish fertilizer. Today is March 31st and all our ranunculus are blooming. They come in an array of colors. We have dark orange here. They have pink colors, white, uh, lemon yellow, and then white with yellow center, white with dark center. They have dark pink. They have bright yellow. In other words, they come in all kinds of colors. White ranunculus don't have as many layers of petals as I would have liked, but they still look pretty. Some of them have yellow center, and then ranunculus with white petals here, they have even fewer white petals, but they still look pretty also. The good thing about ranunculus is that they start blooming before most other flowers start blooming in March or April. So it's nice to have them scattered around the flower bed in the midst of all the other plants that are not blooming yet. And you can see that they're filling up the in-ground bed real nice. And you can also notice that one corm produces several flower buds. Some of the flowers already finished blooming and some of the petals actually fell down like this one. But you can tell that the same corm or the same plant is growing new flower buds and as the older ones fade, the new ones are opening up. This was a very easy project to grow ranunculus, especially that we did not soak the corms. We put them straight into the ground last fall. And my only regret is that I did not plant more corms. And I think this fall in October, my plan is to plant more ranunculus in the ground so that would fill up more space in this in-ground bed. We hope this video encourages you to grow more ranunculus. We hope you enjoy this video and thank you so much for watching.